So while the bed liner coating is drying on the bottom of Zed's sled, we're going to take on another project, stripping the paint off the panels that haven't been stripped or blasted yet. Now in the 90s, all three of the big three automakers had a huge problem with delams, delamination, paint coming off in sheets. I know you've seen these cars going down the road. And when I was in collision repair, the best method we found, or the fastest, maybe not the best, was to take 36 grit paper on a rotary uh, sander, just like these guys, and strip it down to bare metal, build it back up with epoxy, then the top coats, and kick it out the door. It was very effective, but it was a kind of a brutal way to get there. Uh, the other thing is if you ever hit rust like that, your paper is shot. And that might have been the fastest way to get the factory paint down to bare steel, but it probably wasn't the best way. And Eastwood has got something way better. Check this out. These are stripping discs, and they come in a variety of different sizes and different grits. Take a closer look. They utilize a super strong hook and loop fastener, better known as Velcro. And it's super strong. There's a huge footprint, a couple of different styles, and like we said, different sizes, as well as the grits that can finely polish the metal and, and take the paint off without profiling, without digging giant freaking holes in it. And the other benefit to a porous type of a stripping disc like this over top of the 40 grit or 36 grit paper is it stays cool. It doesn't build up a lot of heat on your panel. So if you've got a late model car or a thin or a large piece of metal, this isn't going to heat the panel up and it's not going to warp it. And it's pretty elementary, Watson. You just got to get in there and take the paint off. Now I'm going to start off with a low RPM. I'm probably going to go with about 600 to 1,000 RPM and just see what this guy does. I think it's going to do pretty good. Now here's something kind of cool. Now what this looks like to me is that there's clear coat, base color, some sort of primer. Right here we've got the original paint, the original primer or the EDEP coat, and then bare steel. So this, in a kind of a roundabout way, talks to me and tells me that this car's had two paint jobs on it. And that's kind of what we thought, it's kind of what we found all over the car, but we're doing pretty good on stripping though. Okay, so the door is naked. It's stripped beautifully and it's stripped quickly. And we're not done yet. We're not ready for any kind of a primer. And here's why. Look at this. See that pitted rust in there? The stripper's not going to get that. Sandpaper's not going to get that. Even those beautiful cleaning discs aren't going to get that. So we can either media blast that with something ultra fine or we can chemically change that and get it ready for the next step, which is what we're going to do with our old buddy, Fast Edge.